Hey everyone, I'm Rob from Staking Facilities and in this tutorial I would like to run you through the process of how you can stake your SOL token using the SOLFLARE web interface as well as your Ledger Nano S. Um, I'd like to start the video with a big thank you to the team over at Tokyo Capital for building SOLFLARE. They make participating in the Solana ecosystem really simple. You do not need to touch a CLI at all, so this is also quite suitable for less tech-savvy people. Um, as a side note, I'm using the Brave browser on my MacBook um, with macOS Catalina and I already have the Solana app installed on my ledger. I think it's version 0.2.2, so make sure you, you do the same before you get started. Other than that, we can jump right into it. So first off, I'm going to plug in my ledger. Then also I'm going to unlock it. On, punch in my pin code, hit confirm, open up the Solana app, then it says pending ledger review, you just hit, need to confirm it again and then you're in the app already. You can also see that you did this successfully by this uh, pop-up window up here. So close it. And then we, since we're a first-time user, we want to create a wallet. So hit create a wallet, then we select using Ledger Nano S click the access button and then you have to choose a derivation path um, they only give you one option over here so we're just going to choose this one and then in the second drop down window down below we see a bunch of different accounts and addresses and software does a really good job of abstracting the complexity away because usually um, you have a different derivation path or use different derivation paths to um, derive different addresses from the ledger so actually on your ledger you can save a bunch of different Solana addresses um, but here you only choose this duration path and then you can choose any of these accounts down here. Um, I'm going to choose account number five. Um, doesn't really make a difference, just make sure to take a note uh, or note down which account you're using for which um, action or for which delegation because if you use a bun bunch more, for instance, if you want to delegate to more than one validator, you need different accounts and then it makes sense to, to note this down somewhere so you don't get confused in the future. Then other than that, you don't need to choose anything here. Just click access and then voila, you have it. This is your main interface. This is your address, your balance, transaction history, and so forth. So the first thing we need to do before we can do anything is um, sending over some funds to this newly created address or to our new wallet so that we can perform staking operations, etc. So just copy this address and uh, withdraw to it from the exchange or from wherever you bought your SOL token. All right, once you properly funded your address, you can see your balance showing up here. Um, you might have to reload the website. Um, if you do this, then you will see that you have to do the previous steps again, but it's super simple. I think it's three clicks and then you're you're ready again, so choose the derivation path again, the account, the access, and then you see your balance showing up here. You can explore the interface, it's, it's quite straightforward, so this is your wallet section, you also have a staking section, section which we will get to in just a minute. You can see which network you're talking to, um, you can choose mainnet or definite, we will stick with the real deal. Um, you can also switch between dark and light mode, which is pretty cool. Transfer soul, so you see your address, your transaction history, and so forth. And now you can either, since you want to start staking, go to the staking tab and create account or get started here, but you can also do the same up here or down here. And again, if you want to learn more about staking, I will link the um, Solana docs down below where you can read up on, on how staking works in the Solana ecosystem. And I will also link a short video that we did um, about this as well. But for now, just click get started. And then you need to choose how many SOL you want to uh, deposit from your wallet account, so the account that we just um, derived from our ledger, to your stake account. Um, make sure it's not the whole um, amount. So in my case, I do not want to um, deposit or bond five um, SOL to my stake account because I, I still need to pay for transaction fees. They're very, very um, low uh, and small in, in Solana, but still, I'll just 
go with four for now. That, that way I have more than enough um, Sol unbonded to pay for transaction fees. Then you click next. And then you need to confirm everything on your ledger. Then you see create stake account, um, the amount you want to transfer. You can click through it by hitting these buttons. From the account um, up here, you can see it's kind of blurry, but this is the, the wallet account that we just arrived. Um, new stake authority, um, as well as new withdraw authority. And please note that now we are setting both the stake and the withdraw authority to this very address that we just arrived. Lockup time you can ignore. So it's the custodian fee payer. This is also this address. And this address will now pay for every stake action that we do through the stake account. And then you can just approve it. I'm hitting both buttons. Now you see that it's confirming. Almost there. Great. Account created and funds deposited. Um, now you can see your stake account address. Again, I would note this down somewhere so you know what uh, duration path you used or what account. So in my case, this would be account number five, my account address, and then my 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 um, stake account, which you can see down here. And now the only thing left to do is we can go over to staking. And then we already created an account. Now we want to delegate our account. So hit the delegate account. And now you can select um, the account. So we only have one, so it only shows one stake, zero. Click next. Now we can select the validator in this drop down menu. So there's a bunch of great validators out here. I'm kind of biased, um, to be honest. So I'm going to go with um, staking facilities. Hit next, and then again it's time to um, check everything on my ledger. So delegate from, this would be your stake account, the one that you just created. Authorized by, this is the, the wallet account which we created in the first step. The vote account is the account of your delegator. You can check this on Solana Beach. Um, up here you can go to validators, scroll down to whatever validator you chose, at your staking facilities. And then you see your address here, and this should be the same as it shows on the ledger. That's the case. Continue, fee pay and authorizer. And then click approve. I'm hitting both buttons, and now it's processing again. Almost done. There we are, transaction complete. Close. Now you can see your staking accounts, your account address, the balance, which validator, um, as well as some actions you could undelegate and the status is activating. So each epoch, um, a part of your stake is warming up. So I think the, this epoch lasts for another, um, for another two hours, two and a half hours. So in two and a half hours, my my part of my, my stake will be activated. Um, you can always check how long an epoch lasts on, on Solana Beach up here, also the epoch we're in. Yeah, but that's it for now. Now you're officially a delegate on the Solana network. Congratulations. Um, in case you want to go back to your staking wallet, you can just log out. You can always go back to software.com and then instead of create, we click access use the ledger, access wallet, select the derivation path, and the account, click access, and there you, you have it. So your transaction history, your staking, activity, and everything else you want to know. Um, I hope this tutorial helps. Um, again, big, big thank you to the guys or to the team over at Dokia Capital. You did an amazing job. As of now, please note that um, the inflation is not enabled yet, so you won't earn any staking rewards. This should soon change. Right now we have um, the beginning of August 2020. Soon you will be able to earn staking rewards. Um, but as of now, as inflation is not turned on yet, um, you won't earn any rewards by staking. 
Still, it's such an easy process now with software that it's, it's not a hassle and you can, can do so right away. If you have any questions or want to chat, just post your question or feedback down below or join our Telegram channel, which I will also link down below.